a fine invention, allowing people and cargo to move around the world at speeds that were hitherto unimaginable. Bring these fabulous machines down onto the ground, however, and they are dependent on a transport system that is thousands of years old, a set of wheels. Here on the runway granted, the wheel does its job well enough, but take the plane apart and old methods rapidly reveal their limitations. The transport system required to move these massive but delicate aircraft engines has to be far smoother and much more maneuverable. The solution lies in a transport method more suited to the 20th century, air film technology. The basic component is known as an air bearing. Using a specially formulated urethane diaphragm mounted on a lightweight alloy backing plate, the bearing floats on a thin film of air. It's a simple but highly effective concept. Compressed air, generally supplied from a normal factory airline, enters the bearing and fills the chamber between the backing plate and diaphragm. The air bleeds through into the area between the diaphragm and the floor. As the pressure builds up, the diaphragm inflates, lifting the load upwards. Finally, the special shape of the diaphragm allows controlled leakage between it and the floor, creating a virtually friction-free film of air on which the load can ride. The bearing is designed to work at low cushion pressures and a flow control valve allows accurate adjustments to suit floor and load conditions. To help with the formation of the air film, a smooth surface such as a power troweled concrete floor is required. Air film technology offers a number of unique advantages. Being virtually frictionless, it allows unmatched freedom and ease of movement. Simple controls keep training to a minimum, giving savings in time, labor, and effort. The low operating pressures and lack of moving parts mean that air film is kind to floors, and maintenance costs are minimal. Besides being safe in hazardous environments, the smooth, vibrationless flotation ensures safe and stable movement of even the most delicate of loads. Of course, Heavy loads do not come in standard shapes or sizes. Hover has developed a comprehensive range of products to cope with different loads and different situations. The bearings are usually used in combinations of four or more and are built into a whole range of load carrying structures. Everything from a simple framework to a large turntable. A wide range of bearing sizes and types, purpose engineered controls and accessories allow solutions to be tailored to customers' specific requirements and conditions. The simplest unit is the air skate, used often in sets of four or six. They are linked together by a common manifold and are often controlled through a valve with a dead man's handle. They can be used as a rigging tool or as permanent fixtures for regular machine movement. Gullick Dobson a major supplier of pit roof supports to the mining industry use lightweight aluminium air skates. The supports, weighing up to 20 tons, are regularly moved within the Wigan exhibition area by only three men. Controlled with a remote dead man's handle, the supports are positioned quickly and safely with minimum effort. At British Aerospace Filton Works, sets of steel air skates together with guide wheel, controls and onboard hose reel are permanently fitted to a series of jigs designed for moving the impressive A320 Airbus wings. Two men easily move the wing and jig between build stations, the whole combination weighing five tons at the final stage. British Aerospace also use large numbers of skates at their Broughton Chester plant to move assembly jigs for the bigger A340 wings. The cleanliness of air film technology, together with its ability to move large loads without shock and vibration, is a major factor in its wide acceptance throughout the aerospace industry. An alternative configuration has four or more skates permanently rafted together. Crossroll of Halifax, the United Kingdom's leading exporter of cotton carding machines, 
and a winner of the Queen's Award for Technological Innovation, use 15 such transporters for their modern flow assembly line. Machines are moved hourly between stations as they are built up to a final weight of three and a half tons. The change from static build to a hot air flow line has enabled Crossroll to more than double their output. A popular hover unit is the air film transporter, built in aluminium, steel or composite materials, with optional secondary lifters, powered drives and handlebar or remote controls. The transporter provides the most versatile of load moving platforms. A popular use for air film transporters is the movement of heavy press tooling. Lucas Aerospace of Burnley has reduced weekly tool change times from hours to minutes using a 24-ton capacity hover transporter. The unit which has four air bearings, a central air drive motor with variable speed handlebar controls and secondary lifters is used to collect dies from their storage position and move them to the press where they can be picked up and loaded by the tool changing device. The alternative conventional handling equipment would have cost up to three times as much to install. Likewise, similar weights are moved effortlessly at standard telephones and cables Southampton works, where cable drums are accurately positioned into a reeling machine to accept 110 kilometers of optical fiber cable. Factors affecting the choice of machine were the freedom of movement which air bearings allow, ensuring quick and easy alignment to the drum spindles, simplicity of operation and low maintenance costs. British Airways have been users of hover equipment for many years at their Heathrow engine overhaul plant where three 12-ton transporters are in daily use, moving aero engines. British Airways are totally dependent upon the transporters as no other means of handling is available to them. The smooth, vibrationless and controlled flotation allows careful marshalling of these delicate and expensive RB211 engines. Dual drive motors allow forward, reverse and side-to-side -side directional control to be selected with flush lifters keeping the lift height to a minimum. Another delicate yet heavy product is transported on air film at Bowman Weber's glass silvering plant in Essex. The special side loading transporter has four drive units working in pairs, allowing it to be steered when traveling forwards, sideways or in reverse. Eight air bearings support the load and flush secondary lifters pick up the stillages containing up to 24 tons of glass. All controls are from a remote handheld console, connected to the unit via an umbilical, thus allowing the operator to move around the load and be sure of a clear and safe movement path. The use of a hover transporter enables jumbo packs to be handled in a factory where low headroom ruled out craneage. A third axis of movement can be achieved by combining a scissor lift table with an air bearing transporter. In this example at James River Corporation, the high maneuverability and fine control allows three ton reels to be carefully placed into the unreeling machinery prior to coating. Losses from damaging the edges of the expensive reels have been virtually eliminated since the transporter was introduced. The scissor lift is also air powered, so only one feed is required. At British Steel, stainless division, Two transporters are in constant use, transferring coils up to 30 tons from the store to cut up or slitting lines. Features include powered onboard hose reel, drive motor and guidance using drop pins in a channel into which the hose unwinds during its 45 meters of travel. 
The U-shape allows an hydraulic shoe to quickly remove the coils for loading onto a mandrel. The units work day and night on straight or curved paths with a minimum of service and attention. Ruston Diesels is one of the many GEC companies regularly moving loads between 1 and 600 tonnes with Hover products. At the Newton Le Willows plant, diesel engines weighing up to 40 tonnes are progressively assembled and moved through nine workstations. An air film transporter with external pneumatic drive or tugger is used to move the engine and work platform combination down the production line. The variable speed air powered tugger has a simple latching system, coupling it to the transporter, allowing one tugger to power a number of air bearing transporters if required. With its 180 degree steering capability, maneuvering in confined areas is easily achieved. A more complex configuration at Fairfield Maybe consists of special transporters incorporating air powered hydraulic lift tables. The two transporters operate in tandem to transfer part fabricated steel beams up to 30 meters long and 35 tons in weight from one end of the welding machine to the other where they are accurately loaded onto turnover arms for final welding. The lift tables, each rated at 20 tons, incorporate a steadying ram supporting the beam during movement in its part fabricated state. Each transporter is fitted with four air bearings. and air is fed through an onboard hose reel. Pneumatic drives provide movement in the north, south and east, west directions. For tandem operation, the two transporters are radio controlled from a handheld console. The operating range gives the operator freedom of movement within the 50 meter long working area, with drive and lift functions all push button controlled. Power for the transceiver is from an onboard 12 volt battery connected to an air powered charging system. Each transporter has its own control panel for manual operation if required. The air bearing is also ideal for rotating heavy loads. Turntables fitted with a large number of air bearings have the advantage of low profile and low friction, giving significant savings in civil foundation work and the power required to rotate them. There is none of the rumble associated with mechanical turntables and because of the few moving parts, maintenance requirements are minimal. In the basement of a department store in Reading, a 16-ton air film turntable allows delivery vehicles to be quickly turned through 180 degrees, maximizing use of valuable land and preventing the hazardous practice of reversing onto busy streets. This is only one example of the many commercial vehicle air film turntables now in use. Many have air powered rotation and sizes range up to 15 meters in diameter and 38 tons capacity, large enough to turn an articulated lorry. Large savings in maintenance costs have been achieved by Rotherham Engineering Steels with the installation of this 200-ton ladle turning unit. Six air bearings support the load with air fed through the central pivot, whilst an hydraulic actuator steadily indexes it through 180 degrees. The turntable allows them to greatly extend the life of the inner refractory lining.